A new law in Texas is being considered. It would reward companies for violating Obamacare's contraception requirement. The judge is back. All right, let me get this straight here. They're considering a law in Texas which right. says, we'll get you, uh, you stay no to Obamacare's mandate that you provide uh, contraception. You right. do that, and we'll give you a tax break to make up for it. That's what they're saying. Yes, but basically they're saying it'll be revenue neutral to you because whatever fine you have to pay to the federal government for failure to comply precisely with Obamacare, we will make up that fine by relieving you of the obligation to pay taxes you already owe the state. Can they do that? No, they can't do that because that is based exclusively on a religious belief. If they tempered the proposed statute to say you don't have to object to contraception because it's against your religion, you can object to contraception because it's against your values, then they can do it. Because if they, if they reimburse someone for exercising their religious beliefs, they, the state oh. of Texas, run afoul of oh, the see. First Amendment. I see. I, see. I, I think that the motivation here is quite good. It's basically saying the federal government is interfering with your freedom of speech and expression, we will insulate you from federal interference. But that insulation cannot be grounded in your religious beliefs, otherwise the insulation itself is a foul of the First Amendment, which prohibits favoring one religion over another and prohibits favoring religious over non-religious. Okay, uh, thanks for explaining it, because it's a complicated thing, but that is a very interesting It's also, point. Stuart, if I may, an only in Texas thing. Yes, yes. <laughs> a very interesting political move on the part of Governor Perry, I suggest. Yes. Okay, yes. Next, this is for you, okay, Judge? Uh, what about the Queen of the Netherlands, 75-year-old uh, Queen Beatrix? She's a youngster, Stuart! <laughs> okay, I, I suppose I should have expected that. She is going to step down in favor of her younger son. Now, you don't approve of monarchy. Correct. I would not approve of Queen Elizabeth stepping down in favor of her son, Charles, to become king before he's a really old man. Do you have any comment whatsoever, other than to be vigorously sarcastic with an English accent. The, the a monarchy and its assets should be sold to relieve the burdens on the British taxpayers. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> you, you told me not to be sarcastic, the, but to be truthful. Did, did you know? Truthful, that, that is a true the, expression of my views. The cost to the British taxpayer of royalty is less than the cost to American taxpayers of one trip by President Obama and his family to Hawaii I and think back. I think you're probably right because the presidency has become a mini monarchy ah. with respect to the expenses and the glamour around it and that's not good. Okay. Mini monarchy or old-fashioned monarchy. Off with their heads. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just. Uh, uh, thank you very much indeed. All right. Uh, Judge Napolitano, always good. Thank you very much indeed. Pleasure See you again tomorrow. Stuart, of course.